pulled this in. This is the box that a Latitude Cardinal Strandberg type copy guitar is in. It's a mess out here. I'm not going to show you the rest of the garage. <laughs> Needs a lot of cleaning out, but just want to say this box is like three feet tall and probably, good gosh, at least a foot wide. I just wanted you to see that they did really pack it very well. And here is the box that was inside the box. You can see it came from Shandeberg, Shandong, Shandong Tufsen, Tufusen Musical Company. So yeah, it didn't take long. I ordered it and got had it in about a week. About so I'm not using any fancy mics or anything tonight. I just have the cell phone, the iPhone 12 here. I'm here to tell you this thing is well crafted. It's just beautiful, really beautiful. Uh, see, look how the, uh, that's how the jack goes in in the back back here. You can see that, it's pretty cool. Really nice humbucker pickups. Folks, can you guess why I like this? You know I'm a Telecaster man. You can imagine this is sort of a, a Telecaster with the back belt sawed off of it and the headstock sawed off. But it's got humbucker pickups in it. The neck feels, it's, 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 a, it's a beautiful neck, incredible neck. Fretboard feels great. Fretboard radius is very flat. Uh, the neck is not chunky, but it's not super thin either. I'd say it's sort of a middle kind of thing. C, very shallow C, but fretboard seems wide. I'm playing on the front pickup, the neck pickup right now. Let me show you what the, this is the bridge. Maybe knocking it out a little bit. Of course, the strings are brand new. One thing for sure, you can't put a snark on it anywhere. I haven't found anywhere I think that I can that I can strap one. Maybe I could put it right back here where it's narrow. Might as well show you the back of it while I've got it here. Um, so you got this nice cut out area here, which is typical these days. It's beveled down a little bit here, so it's lower. I don't know if you can see that or not. See how that's angled a bit there? So that neck is, I could say it's exquisite. It's just, it feels fantastic. The, uh, the finish of it, I believe this is ash, it's ash body. Beautiful piece of wood, it's two piece, like the best I can tell. Four bolts, uh, maybe a mosquito flying around in here. May have to swat and kill a mosquito. We've been picking peaches. So the mosquitoes might've got in while we brought our peach, peach uh, bags in. But at any rate, that's pretty, isn't it? Let me put it back on. I'm not gonna go through a whole lot. This is just a first impressions type deal tonight. Mm -hmm. That is sweet. That's the bridge. Here's the in-between. Funky. Stainless steel frets, zero fret edges. A stainless steel should last, what, forever. I just can't imagine wearing them out. It's a, uh, this is like the third headless guitar I've got. I got the Grote, which is a nice guitar for the price, you know, under $200. This one is more like $379. Big step up, honestly, it really is. frets roasted uh neck they claim it's a roasted body too and i have no idea to know whether it was roasted or not but i tell you this it, it's a pretty thing the bridge is nice it was it was pretty dang easy to uh tune like so many of these other um guitars so you've got your little key here that you pull out your little allen wrench and uh, you tune it that way but this one also has has slots in it 
so it, you don't have to use Allen wrench. You can take your pick and you can you can actually turn these things. I've, I've not done it, but I've read that you can. I, I think I probably want to use maybe a heavier pick than the typical Tortex greens that I use, which I dropped. Uh, if I went to like the purple ones or the, even the heavier ones, then I think I'd have no problem just tuning. I mean, it has actually four slots. So in other words, you, you can actually take a, uh, I guess you could take a sort of a flatter end Phillips head screwdriver and do it too if you lose your little thing here, or you can use these. Uh, that is nice. Uh, just, it's rosewood, I guess, Indian rosewood, I think, on the fretboard. If I'm wrong, I'll put that in the comments. Go back to that neck pickup. Place that feels weird on the neck. Or... The best I can tell. Is everything's great. Everything's great. For 379 bucks, this is this is another. This may be one of the nicest guitars that I've got, really. I mean, I'll tell you what it kind of reminds me of. Not the neck so much, but I've got my Godan here. Uh, it, it's kind of the same sort of feel as playing the Highway 1, only the, the neck is, is, is somewhat different, but the whole performance of it. Now, I had read somewhere that has push-pull, but mine does not. So maybe the newer, the maybe I got an older model or something. Let's check the... Uh, Seems to work really good. I'm playing through a deluxe reverb sound on my GTX 100. Oh, this is my Princeton. Let me go up in volume just a little bit so we can see how this is. Some people will want to uh, will want to switch out these humbuckers. I think it sounds pretty nice, honestly.
basement with a little bit of, a gr of grit to it. Let's pump it up just a little bit. Apologies for some of that out of tune playing. It turn, turns out I had substantially knocked it out of tune. Like I said, these strings are brand new. It's been shipped from China. I'm getting settled in. Much better tune now. this settle in I'll do a full review later I just will say that I like the shape of it I do like the fact that it, it's instantly familiar to me I guess I would say that it has more of a Gibson type feeling neck to it uh, than a Fender uh, Fender style body pickups great craftsmanship everything seems to be set up I, I do feel like the intonation might be just a tiny bit out on this top E string up here so I'm gonna check the intonation. It might, I might have been, you know, I might have noticed the play that there might be a note out of the. Maybe not, maybe it's okay, I don't know. the string height that whoever set it up in China did quite a good good job with that this is just this is the kind of guitar that's me it's just no nonsense there's no flash to it other than it just it's just a workhorse it looks like it would just perform well I'm the kind of person that likes natural wood look and uh, so this this is a guitar that's just me I like compact though I'm gonna be start doing some open mics out at the uh, square in Morganton and this will just be a, an easy guitar for me to, to carry it. And one thing I haven't shown you is the gig bag that comes with it. Actually a pretty nice gig bag. See, Latitude guitars. I mean, it's not, it's not outstanding. I mean, it's not, you know, beyond what you might typically just buy an economy gig bag, but it's not cheesy. It's made out of actual, a cloth, not some kind of weird something. The big pocket on the front. It does have the little thing here to latch over the neck to make sure that the guitar rests in there and stays settled well inside inside there my bad you have your double strap on the back so you can adjust this and hang it across your back which is, is something i kind of like uh, does it feel heavy it feels like it might weigh about seven pounds six and a half seven pounds i'll go weigh it i wouldn't say it's a very light guitar it's fairly substantial it's a it, it, it's not something that's feather featherweight. It, it is a, it's a good chunk of wood, and I like that about it. I like that it's it's, it's a pretty solid instrument. It just plays great, man. type playing stuff. I mean, this could be a shredder guitar. Shredder's not what you're going to get out of me, <laughs> but... are great Nick is great crap this is a nice guitar uh, I, I keep thinking 
I need to narrow it down and, and sell a bunch of my guitars. A lot of them I've been reviewing over the years. I think this would be one of my keepers. I'd like to maybe sell 30 of my guitars, keep 20. You know, the ones that I know I'm gonna play all the time. And the interesting thing is a lot of them will be cheap guitars. And this is a cheap guitar. I still consider a $379 guitar. A cheap guitar. some interesting sounds tonight we're having a massive rainstorm in north carolina so again no fancy record of this just straight off of an iphone imagine how nice it would sound if i did mic it up good or play it through a helix or something and i'll try to do that for a future video i think you can get a good sense that it's that it's a quality instrument from this it's just it's nice I'm glad about this one, folks. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.